Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite event. Today I'm gonna explain all begin the Clone Wars have challenges and I'm gonna start with the first challenge and this one to visit Clone Trooper. In order to make this one easier just make a track quest so now once you open the map you will see the other two locations i already visited this is the first location this is the second location so we can track it and go to it directly this is the third location and after visiting all the three locations this quest will be done which is visit clone trooper the second quest is to obtain a dc 15 plaster again it can be found at the same three location once you go to one of these locations, you will go inside and you will find these chests. And inside the chest, you will find this DC blaster rifle. And for the next phase, guys, which is first jump onto or off a uh, grind rail, simply you need first to get a light super. So, in order to get the light super, you need to wait until these things appear with the map and go to one of them, press E and press accept. Okay. You can see the animation now. Thank you. Okay, now we need to go to one of the grind rail areas. There's actually grind rail here in front of me, which here at this area. Let me go to it. Yes. This is one of the grind rail areas here around uh, Shatter Slab. And simply in order to do the first jump, you need to double use space bar while you are in the air. So this is how you can do this. So I'm gonna go to the grind rail and double space bar. Whoa, okay. Never mind. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay. Then I press E. Yes, that's it. So and also if you are already on the grind rail, you can double space bar like this there, and that's how it works. And after that guys we have another quest and this time is to travel distance on the grind rails. We already done the first quest so what I'm gonna do is again gonna ride the grind rail and travel. Yeah until the quest is done it's only 200 distance so it's not a big deal. First ability against a vehicle simply land at any location that contain a vehicle like let's say this is one of the location and get that vehicle and run away from that location so no one kills you. And now what you're gonna do is waiting until the force ability appears on the map. And after some time, finally guys, these light super can be found on the map. And simply you will go to one of them and press E so you can actually accept. Come on, come on, give me my ability please. And after getting the ability, simply you're gonna attack this car with it. So I'm gonna, uh, of course, if you want to use the ability, you need to block first, then use left click. This is my, uh, this is my keyboard. Of course, you might have a different key. So, so I'm gonna press left click, and as you can see, this quest is done. And simply after getting the light silver, simply you need to destroy the albine tree, and simply just go and destroy it like this this is by the way the first location yeah you will also guys find more around this location as you can see this is alpine tree and can be found exactly here near, near frenzy field in this area you can damage it as, as you saw with the light super or you can use pull or the light super ability as you can see this is another albine tree which can be found here you can move around and destroy like there is another one there as well this direction so yeah here exactly real near this red house then guys with the next quest which is complete or evade bounties this one is quite easy just mark on it and it will tell you, tells you where exactly all the bounties on the map in case if you want to see them on the map again press track quest and now every time i open the map i can see the location of all the bounties then go to one of these bounties and just press accept and either kill that player yourself or wait until this player dies and that's how you can simply 
actually complete that quest hey guys we have two different quests that can be completed in the same time and these quests are drive distance on a motorcycle and get air time in a vehicle so there's actually multiple ways where you can do this like maybe you can come to this area and get this dirt bike or you can also go to one of these gas station or mega city you will find a lot of the new bike so simply once you get this dirt bike you will just move around and also jump while you're moving around since this will be count as airtime so now we gotta complete two quests at the same time like travel distance and motorcycle is already completing also get airtime is already completing as you can see i'm already 18 123 okay let's fly oh that, this is a nice one this is a really good airtime yeah, as you can see, travel distance completed, also getting airtime on a bike or in or a motorcycle is completed. Which is quite nice. Two quests at the same time, they, they don't really take that long. Oh, get airtime didn't complete yet. So, okay, I need five more seconds, sorry. <laughs> so, let's jump. Okay. Jump again. Jump again. Yes, and now get air time is also completed, which is quite easy quest as well. And then guys, for the next quest, you have to visit different name location. Again, you can track this quest and it will tell it to you where exactly did you visit and where you didn't. I already visited Frenzy Field and Shattered Slab. Now I have to visit all these locations. There is no best way to do this quest. Just move around until you actually complete it. You don't have... To be uh, like is looking at the speed run, you can actually complete this one uh, by itself by playing the game or, or stuff. If you want, you can just use a bike and move around until you actually visit all the locations. Now, guys, for the next quest, you need to use force abilities against opponents, and in order to do that, you need to get the lightsaber first because that's how you're gonna use the force ability. And we need to find some opponents, so I think there is someone fighting at this direction. So Okay, let me go and... Oh my god, this is awesome! Okay. Okay, I already used one time, I need to use it more. Come on, come on, let me use it, okay. Okay, I used it another time. This is 2 over 3. Oh, it counted as 3? Wow, this time it counted as two because I think I hit him twice. Okay, let me try to find another player and try to get it completely done. Okay, I see a player. Okay, whoa! The, the force ability is cool, I swear. Wow, I like it. Now guys, with the second stage, which is dam damage enemy players within 10 seconds of using force abilities. So firstly guys, I'm gonna need to find a, uh, a player. I think there's a player in this direction. I saw him building. As you can see guys, to do this quest simply, you're gonna use the force ability first. So you don't really have to use the force ability on the player. You can use it there so, but you don't have to use it on a player. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, once you actually use the force ability, you need to attack a player within 10 seconds. But as you can see, 150 damage. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna use the force ability anywhere. Then I'm gonna attack that player. Wait, where did go? What? Yeah, you have only 10 seconds, guys, to do, to do the quest, so be careful. And now guys for stage 3, destroy objects or structure with the force ability. Simply, you will go to any location that contains too many objects and you will hold right click like this, then use left click so you can destroy the structure. Oh my... Oh no 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 no! I almost killed myself, wow! Be careful from that, so... Yeah, using this item can be... <laughs> can be hard sometimes, okay. I might use shield just in case. <laughs> How much damage was that? Oh, 42 in one shot? Wow. Okay, let me use it again. Okay. 
Uh, that's not enough. Still need more. Need to wait for nine seconds. Okay, okay, I'm gonna destroy this entire building. Yep. Oh, 66. And that's how you destroy object of structure with the force and the lucky. That was easy. <laughs> but this is a challenge, guys. Damage damage enemy with a DC 15 blaster simply. You either play Team Rumble and do it in Team Rumble, or if you are, have access to bot lobbies, like this is a bot and killing bots with the blaster rifle is easy. As you can see, I'm 397. I will be 500 now. Yeah, that, that was easy. It didn't take a lot, much time, actually. <laughs> And for the second stage, guys, you need to eliminate enemy player with a DC-15 plaster or a sword rifle. You can use this one to just eliminate the player. Oh my god, come on, come on. Is this guy is running. Okay, that's 5 over 5, now we completed stage 2. And for the last quiz guys, which is hit headshot against enemy players with a DC blaster or assault rifle. Either this weapon or assault rifle. So you have two options, either doing it in team rumble. And this most likely will be perfect for the player that doesn't have access to bot lobbies. Because the second option is bot lobbies which make it way easier than even team rumble. And in case guys, if you don't want to do it in uh, Team Rumble, you can do it in bot lobbies, it's a lot easier, I swear. Just get this weapon, it's easier to actually aim with it, so... As you can see, hitting shot, headshot, uh, bots, is quite easy. Also, after you knock them down, you can still get some headshots on them. Okay, he's, he's giving me his back, come on, give me his... I want his front so I can headshot. Where is the other bot that I killed? Okay, there is he. Here is he. Stop moving. Okay, I got like one headshot. 